So hiya, I've never done this before, so I'm probably going to be very bad at explaining things, but I am going to try anyway. So, in the movie Barbie and the Diamond Castle, the two main characters, Leanna and Alexa, had these protective necklaces, and I have always wanted to recreate them, and I finally figured out how to make the knot, and people asked me for a tutorial, and I need to make one for my own reference, so here, here's the video version, I guess. Um... Will look something kind of like this at the end. And here's the back. For yours, I'd suggest using mm, something that's not this small. Uh, it, it, it's really hard to tie things onto such a small stone. For the tutorial itself, I'm gonna be using something, using something a lot bigger, and also purple, so therefore not movie accurate. But that's just so you can see what I'm doing. I would suggest not using something this big either because that's just going to be really clunky for a necklace. So I pick something kind of in the middle like this. This is an, about an inch both ways. So anyway, you're going to want to have string too. I'm going to be using this white yarn again. For a movie accurate look, I would use like a brown cord like this. Um, you're also going to want scissors, which I don't have, so I am going to go, I didn't think this through, so I'm going to go assemble stuff. Alright, so to start out, you're going to want to take your string, and with your heart thing, like, leave a little extra just in case, and you're just going to take it through the middle, wrap it around the bottom like that, and up back through the middle. And it's not going to stay there right now, so you're just going to want to tie that there. And you don't want any of these knots to, s knots to slip because it needs to be tight in order to actually stay on the stone. So I would double knot it if I were you. Oops. And not do whatever I just did there. Of course, it also helps if you don't make it too tight. <laughs> okay. So now you're gonna... <clears throat> okay. So you're gonna have like a loop now, I guess, that should fit decently around your heart. It's actually better if, at this point, if it's a little too big. You can always re-tighten things later, and I'll show you that when we get there. <sighs> Moving on, because that took way longer than it needed to take. You're going to have your loop. You're going to flip over your stone and cut this piece of yarn off. And then you're going to want another length of string like that, and find the middle of this back loop and tie that to the string you already have on your heart. Double knots are super helpful. So now you should, from the front, have something that goes around your stone like that. Then, on the back, goes back up like this. Here would be a good spot to tape your strings in place so that your knots can stay nice and tight. I have not been taping mine. Don't do as I do. <laughs> and you're going to pull this back part tight and tie it up onto this existing knot. And there. Okay, so now you have something like this, and you can always cut the tails later. I'm gonna untape that now. For, I'm gonna cut another piece of 
your string. And I'm really sorry about all the weird mumbling. I have no idea what I'm doing. And then you're going to pick a point here in the middle of your string to make the little X in front. And you're just going to tie your string around that again. And this is one that you don't really want to slip. So make sure you tie it really nice and tight. It is helpful at this point to reconsider on taping and retape your project right there above your knot. That will also keep the knot from slipping up way too high, higher than you want it. All right, you're gonna take this string now and. Sorry. <laughs> you're going to... Anyway, you're going to take your new string, see this part on the bottom, find the part right here on the edge of the heart on the bottom, and tie it there as well to secure it. So, it should be tied there now. You're gonna bring the string around, and you're gonna have like an A on the back, I guess, a triangle. And you're gonna wrap it around nice and tight, tape it if you need to, and tie it right there on the other side. And I am going to tape mine, just, just to hold it in place for now. Alright, now you should have something like that on the back with your two knots. Now flip it back to the front and ignoring this tail, which I'm just going to cut off now, you're going to bring your string back around in an X, like on the actual, like on the necklace of the movie, and finish off your string by tying it to the first. Um, just like you did on the other side, basically. Again, making sure that everything's nice and tight there so that it actually stays on. And then, when you untape it, you should have something Like this. And you can obviously cut off, should obviously cut off the tails to make it look nice. And if your knots aren't tight enough, or as tight as you like, or the string starts slipping off, a little bit of glue might help help that. Um, for the loop on the top, just tie these top strings around your finger, and double knot it, and it should stay looped.
like so. And you have your own diamond castle necklace. Of course, mine's not movie accurate, just for the sake of this tutorial, but that's how you tie the knot.